Good morning. I have the privilege today of leading in the reading of scripture, which is all about the word. First of all, you must understand this, that no prophecy of scripture is a matter of one's own interpretation. All because no prophecy came by the impulse of man, but men moved by the Holy Spirit from God. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, correction, and training in righteousness. That the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of the soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intents of the heart. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that by steadfastness and the encouragement of the scripture, we might have hope. I have laid up thy word in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep thy law and observe it with my whole heart. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The unfolding of thy words give light. It imparts understanding to the simple. Great peace have those who love thy law. Nothing can make them stumble. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the words of our God will stand forever. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come boldly before the throne of grace, seeking mercy and seeking grace to help us, Father, in our time of need. Lord, we are a needy people. We need your word, and we thank you for your word, that it shows us the way that we are to live. We are thankful that your word is God-breathed. It was not written by men. And we thank you that, Father, your word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing and dividing the joints and the marrow, our thoughts and our intents. Lord, we thank you today that your word was written for us, even though long ago it applies still yet today. We are thankful for your word. Help us to hide your word in our heart because that's our weapon against our enemy. Open our eyes that we might see the wonderful things, Father, that you have in store for us. Teach us your ways, and Lord, help us to be obedient. Give us understanding. Lord, we thank you that your word is a lamp unto my, our feet and a light unto our path. We thank you that there's great peace we have in our heart, Father, as we know and as we obey your word. And last of all, we're thankful that your word stands forever. It is the same yesterday, 
today and forever. For we pray in Christ's name. Amen.